Lesson 1, Unit 2 Project Constraints You learn from the definitions that projects need to manage constraints. Every project has to manage four basic constraints. The first one is a scope. All the work needed to complete the project. Then the schedule. The time the project has to deliver all the objectives. The budget. All the funds that are available and quality, the standards to measure the quality of the project deliverables. All these constraints are usually known as the project management triangle. It is described as a triangle in which each side represents one of the constraints, schedule, budget, and scope, and in the middle is quality. It is said that when the schedule, budget, and scope are in balance, you have the quality in the project. But whenever there are changes in any one of these sides, there's going to be an impact on the other two sides and the project will not meet the quality standards. Let's see an example. When your project has an increase in scope and you're asked to do more than planned, what happens now is that triangle is not in balance, and that means in order to do more work, you need to increase the schedule and increase the budget. By making those changes in the triangle, by increasing the budget and increasing the schedule, now there is a new triangle. With that new triangle, the project can meet the quality standards of the project. The same thing happens when you're asked to reduce the budget. Here you need to look at the two other sides of the triangle and the impact on the schedule and the impact on the scope when the amount of funds is reduced. That means that in order to bring the project management triangle back to balance, you're going to need to make a reduction in the schedule and reduce the scope of the project in order to meet the new budget limit. You now have a new triangle. With the reduction in the budget, you have to reduce the scope and the time to complete the project. So that in the end, you can have a new triangle that can meet the quality standards. It is important to understand the relationship in these constraints. Any changes in any one of the sides will have an impact on the other sides. That means any time they're asking you to change the scope, you need to see the impact on the schedule and the budget. By adding a scope or reducing scope, you will need to change the budget and the schedule. The same thing happens when a change in the budget, either an increase or cost or reduction in cost. That means you need to evaluate the impact of the scope and the schedule. And even a change in the schedule when you're asked to reduce the time to complete the project, you will need to see the impact of the change in the budget and the scope. Managing these constraints occurs during the project life cycle, and it's an important concept that needs to be understood by project managers.